If you are still not married and wondering why, then this video is definitely for you. You've probably heard that the way a person dresses and looks sends out a certain set of signals or vibes, so we perceive others based on these signals. And most likely, the problem is that the vibes that you send out just don't encourage men to marry you. Let's have a look at your appearance first. Most likely, you wear tight dresses, skinny jeans, short skirts and of course high heels. Everything is tight and seductive as much as possible. What do you think? What kind of a message do you send when you dress up in such manner? If a man looks at you, would he want to marry you? Of course not. The only thing he concerned about is to satisfy his carnal desires. And that's it. This is one of the main misconceptions of most girls. For some reason, you think that if you excite animal instincts in a man, he would want to marry you. Girls who are used to sending flirtatious vibes generally don't get married. Unfortunately, they are only being exploited. This type of a woman attracts men for one reason only, and trust me, this desire has nothing to do with the intent to build family, have children and live happily ever after. It is strange that they don't even expect the scenario when they get dumped. Although everything is logical, she ran into what she fought for. This is not even the worst part. Do you know what kind of a men are usually attracted to tight dresses? Mostly they are lustful womanizers who don't miss out anything and chase after every skirt. As soon as he gets tired of her, he will immediately run after another one, the one that looks more appealing. Do you need such a man? I doubt it. It is better to choose a decent man, the one who will not leave you when you are out of shape after giving birth, he will not drink and beat you up in a drunkenness, he would not have mistresses and late night parties with his buddies. I am talking about believing men. But keep in mind that just as you need a normal man, so a normal man needs a decent wife. Lev Tolstoy in his work The Kreutzer Sonata compared noble woman and woman from brothels and it turned out that the both of them had the same clothes, the same outfits, the same style, the same perfume, the same exposed arms, the shoulders, the breasts, the tight fitting of the exposed back, the same love for expensive shiny things, the same entertainment, dancing and music. So women from brothels and regular women both resort to the same means to attract men. They display themselves like a product, so everyone can see. How do you think a man should know which of them are worthy and which are prostitutes if outwardly there is no difference? No, I'm not trying to say that you are not pure and decent woman. But for some reason you take as an example women from entertainment and music industries. Do you know who men marry without hesitation? Even if she is not that pretty. Men choose the one who has a beautiful and kind character, pious modest, well-mannered, clean and obedient woman. What do we say? Such a woman are the female elite. These are the noble women. These are the best breed, extra great, the highest standard. Because the true greatness of any woman is in her modesty and piety. And only monkeys walk with a naked butt. In short, if you want to marry a real man, you should at least look different from a woman of indecency, so that you can be easily recognized. And as soon as you put on the clothes of believing woman, men will begin to respect you and not treat you like a, some kind of a commodity. You will begin to respect yourself and feel the respect of the people around you. You will receive protection from lustful men and acquire true greatness. My advice to you, leave bad habits Distance yourself from bad friends, join a charitable foundations, religious educational circles. Make sure that you attend gatherings of believing women. Try your best to become better day by day, and you will receive what you want, with God's permission. Remember, God doesn't change a state of a person until a person changes himself or herself.
Don't forget to subscribe and write your opinion in the comments. Assalamu alaikum and see you in the next video.